This is Roger Kidd, uh, the best doctor sponsor. How do you feel if investors come in and demolish the fairground speedway? Well, truly, I'd be heartbroken because I've been coming here a long time. I love racing. Uh, this, this place is just historic. Uh, there's no other place like it. Well, I'm sitting here with Jeff Taylor, the defending track champion of the Pest Runners Front Runner Division. How do you feel if investors come in and demolish the fairground speedway? Well, it'll be heartbreaking for many. This track's been here for so many years. So many people love it. Uh, it's such a great part of the community. Uh, it would break a lot of people's heart besides just mine. So hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully good people in Nashville will keep it here for many years to come. That's what it was designed for. That's what it should be. How do you feel if investors come in and demolish the fairground speedway? Well, I've been coming out here since the early 90s, since I've been a kid, and I would hate to see it go. I've been out here helping the Chaffins my whole life, and this is my first year racing, so I, I want there to be another year for me out there racing again. So that pretty much sums it up. I'll be devastated if they tore down my track. How do you feel about the fairgrounds being tore down if investors come in to take it over? Well, really, I, I, don't, I don't know, because this is, I just started racing here this year, so I would, it would be bad if they did. I would like to come back and continue racing here. And it, it's, it's a fun track, and I want to keep coming back. How do you feel it? the fairgrounds is demolished by investors? It wouldn't be a very good situation. It would, it would uh, like my dad said, it, it would be very heartbreaking for many people, uh, not just the drivers, but also the fans as well. Uh, I've been coming here since I was probably five or six. So I've grown up watching these people and here I am out here racing with them as well. So it means a whole lot to me and I hope I hope my son can actually come out here, watch me race and eventually race with me as well, just like I'm doing with my dad. Hey, I'm here with Stephen Collins, front runner division. How do you feel if the investors come and demolish the fairground speedway? Well, Steve, I grew up at this racetrack. My dad raced here. He came here as a teenager. I grew up here from about the age of five years old till now. Uh, I've watched numerous legends come through the back gate here. Uh, I've, I've raced here for the past five years. I have two boys, age five and seven. I'd like to see them be in a car one day here. Um, it's, a, it's a historic place. It's a, it's a historic place and it needs to, pre, needs to be preserved. Bar none need to be preserved. Devastated. I would be totally devastated by that. Uh, I'm uh, 51 years old and I've been coming, I've been frequenting this track since I was four years old. And everybody in these pits are race fanatics. Um, I don't I don't really know. I, I couldn't really tell you a hundred percent honest answer on how I would feel because uh, I probably never felt like that before. Uh, this is this is our home away from home. This this track and this facility, this race fairgrounds belongs to the people. Um, and to have something just taken from you like that, it, it just don't seem right to me. Um, I think that Tony Formosa has done a very good job, and I think that he has more than shown our mayor and the rest of our government downtown that this place can thrive. It can be self-supported. It does not need uh, tax dollars. Uh, we proved that for the last two years now, and as a matter of fact, this track has always been self-supported. It never had to put tax dollars into this place. Um, there's several other government affiliated facilities like golf courses, and I could keep on going, but they require tax money to keep them going. This is one of the only entities in Davidson County that requires no tax money to keep it going. It's fully self-supported. The races, the flea market, the expos, that's what keeps the place going. And you know, like I said, I've grown up at this track. I'm, I'm racing, I came from a racing family. 99% of everybody down here is, came from a racing family. And they've not just started this, this they've been coming here forever. And to, to even the thought of somebody coming in with big money and investment pulling a power move on us to move this place out, this is the, the blue-collar man's playground right here. And 
that's what it's always been, and that's what it'll always be. I was Travis Ryman. How's it going? Doing all right, Jay. Yeah. Hey, how do you feel if the pastor come in to the college? Well, look what made me feel too good. You know, my granddaddy raced out here back in the 60s, and the track's been out here for a long time, so I'm just trying to keep the rhyming name going on. You know, I'd hate to see the place go. All right, uh, I'm from Steve County, uh, How do you feel when the investors come in and demolish the fairgrounds speedway? Well, I don't feel, I don't feel very good at all about it. It was destroying my way of life. I've been coming here. Since I was eight years old, I came to the first race on the asphalt track in 1958 and been coming ever since. And it, it has a great value for the entire family, not just the racing, but the flow market and the whole package. I'm with Travis Owens, one of the front runner drivers out here at Fairgrounds Speedway. How do you feel with investors coming in and demolish the Fairgrounds Speedway? Uh, I'd be pretty upset. Um, this thing's been a home for me for a long time. My dad raced out here in the early 90s, through 90s up to 99. So I've been running around here in the grass up on the grandstands for a lot of years. Um, kind of, it's time to get my turn in, and a lot of other people want to get their turn in, and for years to come in the future. So I think for generations to come, in my generation, we'd all be very, very mad and upset if this thing got taken away from us or tore down. So that's how I feel about it. I'm with Robert Forsyth. Number 87 driver. How do you feel with the pressure to come in and demolish the program? I think it'd be a loss to the community. It'd definitely be a loss to the racing community because the, the history with the track being here for so many years. Uh, I'm a third generation driver. My father raced here. My grandfather raced here. And uh, I'm starting my son in quarter midgets and hopefully in a few years he'll be racing here. So I'd like to see the track stay. Um, it's a good staple in the, in the Tennessee, Middle Tennessee community. It's a good track. Uh, good people, good family entertainment, and cheap family entertainment. A lot better than going somewhere and spending $50, $60 to, to go to another sporting event around here. You can come here most Saturday nights, spend five, ten bucks, see a bunch of good racing, meet nice people, and have fun with the family. I was Paul Cummins on the front runner division out here at National Fairgrounds. How do you feel when the investors come in and demolish the fairgrounds people? They're taking away a treasure playground for anybody that don't fish, anybody that don't sing, anybody that don't like to go to the mall. This is where we play. This is our Grand Ole Opry. This is our Marty Robbins style cell. This is where we come to have a good time. Family, friends, people from out of town come to race here, enjoy this. Uh, I grew up knowing that my brother's coming here to watch Daryl Walter, Sterling Marlin, Marty Robbins, all those guys. We want to keep it. We always want to keep it. We don't know why anybody want to take it down. This is our playground. I'm a Corey Rowland, number 51 driver out here at Fairground Speedway. First of all, how do you feel if the investors come in and tear down the Fairground Speedway? Um, I honestly personally think uh, that would be a really bad decision. Uh, there's a lot of history here at the Fairgrounds that people don't know about. Uh, there's a lot of NASCAR Cup drivers today who got their start here at the Fairgrounds. Uh, as a matter of fact, Dale Earnhardt Jr. And his brother and sister used to come down here on the weekly show. And uh, with history like that, um, my grandfather won a championship down here on the quarter mile. And my dad's run down here in the same division I'm running this, this truck in, a pro modified. He run on the quarter mile and the 5 8 mile. And uh, my uncle raced here as well. I just got a lot of family history here at the fairgrounds, and I would really hate to see it go away. This is a really special place and an amazing facility to race at.